Hi, this is Dave, L. David Likes Photography, and I'm going to show how to do focus stacking in Photoshop. And I'm in CS5, but you can also, from what I understand, can do this in CS4. Um, now, uh, I've shot several images of this uh, lens cap, Canon, and if you look at it, um, I uh, shot with a macro 100 2.8 lens at 2.8, and I just handheld, and this isn't the best way to do this, but I just wanted to show you how to do it. And uh, I've focused on the C, actually before the C and then the C, and uh, I moved on down the line. There's the N, zero, and the the back end, and then the back of the uh, cap. So I, I basically took eight exposures of this uh, lens cap, uh, as that 2.8 lens is so, it has such a fine depth of field that you have to take more images to get the whole thing in focus. And um, of course, I could have done it at a different f stop, but I'm just showing you how to use focus stacking. And so, with those eight exposures, I'm going to click on the first one, shift click on the last. I'm going to go up to um, to Tools, Photoshop, and load files in Photoshop layers. Okay, so I was going to open everything in layers in Photoshop. So I'm going to get eight different layers as it stacks, as, you know, well, it's not stacking them now, but it's uh, it's it's creating uh, eight layers uh, in Photoshop. And this first one is number four. And I've, I've tried this two different ways. And I find that the the way the order that you put them in depends on how good this uh, process works. So I'm actually going to reverse the process. So I'm going to take 11 and put it up at top and go down and take 10 and raise that up before 11. 9, 8, 7, 6. So now I have got them uh, uh, in reversal. We're actually fours. So I've got to be down here at the bottom. So the first, the very bottom should be four. Uh, that was looks like I'm. Okay, so let's see, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Oop, I lost four. Where'd that four? Step back, step back, and uh, okay, four has to come down. So I'll move it down. All the way down to the bottom. Okay, so now I have them all stacked from 10, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the top layer, scroll down, click on the bottom layer. Okay, then I'm going to come in and do Edit, um, Auto Align Layers. Because uh, uh, it's better to tripod this shot, but I handheld it, so. Uh, they're not aligned, and so you need to align this. Okay, so that aligns them up pretty much. Um, uh, if you, if you could, if I turned off, you could see how they're in uh, each each one is pretty much over the other one. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead with them still all selected, all the layers. I'm going to do Edit Auto Blend Layers, and we're going to come down here to Stack Images, and I click on that. And that is going to do the focus stacking. And as it, it processes through this. OK, and there's our final image. And as you come over here to the corner, you can see that um, it masked out certain parts of the image. So if I go ahead and turn off different parts, you can see what Photoshop has done to get the focus to be completely, well, not completely sharp, but a lot sharper. Uh, it depends on how I did the images. And, and of course, this wasn't, uh, uh, I could have got a lot better effect had I tri tripoded each one of these shots. But, uh, and, you know, I would probably do something like this now. Let's say this is, this is all I want for my final image. Let's say I was doing this for uh, uh, some kind of uh, some kind of uh, ad or something, and I just wanted that. Uh, I just wanted that right there. Well, then I got everything in focus. 
Okay, and that's focus stacking. I'm Dave, L. David Likes Photography. Thanks for watching.